Hi guys, this is Nomadic Gamer, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VII, where we are finally, finally leaving Midgar. And with my OG team, forever and always. Wow, that is a nice shot, like of what Midgar like actually looks like. It's pretty cool. All right, wow. Let's see, I, yeah. Up to the Northeast. Towards Calm. Break, why not? <laughs> Looks like he got that from Roche. <laughs> I'm so very curious how they're gonna do the overworld map in in uh, in part two. I'm just wondering why Cloud has more MP than anybody else. Alright, level up. Lots of gil. Nice. Alright. Here is Calm. Looks like we've reached calm. I wonder if everyone's there already. Let's hurry over to the inn. Let's go, Cloud. <laughs> the first town. Oh, come on, listen to me. Got anything interesting to say? That would be so hilarious if we seen, like, Johnny everywhere. Part two. Thanks to Shinra Incorporate. Developing Mako energy for us. Everything's more convenient now. And there's a price to pay for convenience. I heard President Shinra was killed, and his son Rufus, the new president, was badly hurt. Hey, I bet that's news to you. <laughs> Don't care. Don't care. If you're gonna travel, you'd best keep an eye on what Shinra's doing. Eh, let me talk to everybody. The famous floating city, Midgar. Just once I'd love to see it in person. Eh. My old man was a miner, but he couldn't go to work after monsters started appearing in the Mithril mine. Now all he does is sit around getting drunk at the bar. See, did I talk to you? Huh. <laughs> Maybe a little too convenient. I hear that the na natural resources near the reactors are being sucked dry. We're better off with them bringing in the Mako energy. I wonder, like, this, this little town, it, it's a little town, but it's so 
condensed and right now I'm just like wondering how are they going to expand it like they did to everything in Midgar, oh my gosh. That would just be really cool. Mr. Cloud, your party is waiting for you on the second floor. Cloud, you're late. <laughs> Yo, man, you're late. What? Sorry to keep you waiting. Guess everyone's here now. So, let's hear your story. You know, the one about Sephiroth and the crisis facing the planet. Let's hear it all. I used to want to be like Sephiroth, so I joined Soldier. After working with Sephiroth on several missions, we became friends. You'd call that a friend? Yeah, well, he's older than me, and he hardly ever talked about himself. So I guess you'd call him a war buddy. We trusted each other. Until one day. One day? After the war, it was soldiers' duty to put down any resistance against the Hunra. That was five years ago. I was sixteen. Cure is raining hard. <laughs> Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm alright. I wouldn't know. I've never had motion sickness. Everything okay? Hey. Settle down. They gave me some new materia. I can't wait to use it. Just like a kid. You're going to brief us about this mission? This isn't a typical mission. Good. Why do you say that? I joined soldiers so I could be like you. But by the time I made first class, the war was already over. My big hopes of becoming a hero like you ended with the war. That's why I always sign up whenever there's a big mission. Kind of a way to prove myself. Say, how do you feel, Mr. Sephiroth? I thought you wanted a briefing. Our mission is to investigate an old Mako reactor. There have been reports of it malfunctioning and producing brutal creatures. First, we will dispose of those creatures. Then we'll locate the problem and neutralize it. Brutal creatures? Where? Make a reactor at Nibelheim. Nibelheim. That's where I'm from. Hmm. Home down. Sir, s something strange just crashed into a truck. That would be a monster. And this was really cool, too. I mean, Seeing Sephiroth do like thousands of damage and taking zero hits. That's great. You know, like you really get a sense of how powerful, you know, he is, even just on a normal day. Sephiroth's strength. <laughs> Sephiroth's strength is unreal. He is far stronger in reality than any story you might have heard about him. So, where do you come in? Me? I was mesmerized by the way Sephiroth fought. And then we reach Nibelheim. How does it feel? 
It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? So how does it feel? I wouldn't know because I don't have a hometown. Um, how about your parents? My mother is Genova. She died right after she gave birth to me. My father... <laughs> what does it matter? Alright, let's go. It's so boring being on watch. You wanna do what we always do? Practice. Oh, you mean practice by pose? Does someone insult you always have to be careful about what other people think? How did it go? They're like this? Good job. <laughs> I really don't want to be insulted here. Psst, you keep wandering around here and you'll get in trouble. You know, people have said that, um, the opening of the game, uh, of the second part, could be the calm flashback. Like, it just plays out like this. Like, there is no, you know, cloud telling a story. Like, it literally is just the flashback playing out, like, like in real time. That'd be kind of cool. And then only at the end, do you, you know, do, do newer players find out it's a flashback. The Mako smell is pretty bad here. I wonder what, what Mako would smell like. Oh yeah, wait, never mind. Tifa already said something like it. Wait, didn't she say something like it smells like rotten eggs or something? I don't know. Yo, wait a minute. <laughs> Isn't that, um... The name is Sephiroth's mother? I remember Genova. That's that dang headless spook living in the Shinra building. That's right. Barrett, would you please let us hear what Cloud has to say? You can ask questions later. Tifa, I was only... Okay, Cloud, continue. <laughs> it's a reunion of childhood pals. I was really surprised with Tifa. The town was quiet. Everyone must be staying in their houses, afraid to come out because of the monsters. No. Maybe they're afraid of us. We leave for the reactor at dawn. Make sure you get to sleep early. All we need is one lookout, so you others get some rest. Oh, that's right. You may visit your family and friends. <laughs> oh, it's the guy that always wants to take pictures. I heard Sephiroth was coming and got my camera ready. I want to shout a Sephiroth and a monster. Take my picture. I don't take pictures with nobodies. <laughs> Better get back in the house, it's dangerous. Alright, so big headed. Hey, this guy's a real. You, are you Cloud? Really? So that's how it is, huh? <laughs> Man, I'm so nervous. How come? Look, you never know when a monster's gonna show up, right? Oh, you're with the Hyuna. Welcome. Oh, I'm sorry, it's you, Cloud. I didn't recognize you. Aww. Hyuna? Hyuna? <laughs> Soldier? Salsa? <laughs> Are you gonna kill the monsters? 
Are you going to? <laughs> that was cute. He's so cool. We too. Like secret little special things, like you know, all over the place. Cloud? Did you go into my house? Hmm. No. I remember you weren't there. Huh. This is my house. It has nothing to do with that incident five years ago. Yo, wait, I want to hear. Me too. It's been a long time, right? Tell us more. You saw your family, right? Alright. I don't know if you could call it a family. My father died when I was still very young. That's why my mom was living alone in this house. Yeah, I saw my mom. She was a vibrant woman. Hadn't changed at all. But a few days later, she died. And when I saw her, she looked fine. Uh... Yes? Cloud? Welcome home, Cloud. Hi, Mom. Her canon name is Claudia. <laughs> Come, come, let me take a look at you. Hmm. You look so handsome. So is this a soldier uniform? Oh my. I have you, how you've grown. How about the girls never leave you alone? Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I'd feel a lot better if you just settled down and had a nice girlfriend. I'm alright. You should have an older girlfriend. One that'll take care of you. I think that would be the perfect type for you. I'm not interested. <laughs> are you eating right? I'm alright. The company takes care of me. Is that so? You can't cook, right? I was worried sick about how you were doing. Cloud? You know Cloud. Isn't that right, Cloud? <laughs> I will always be your mother. Aww. Let's stop this. Welcome. Hey, aren't you... Have I come here before? I don't remember. Now you're pissing me off. This don't matter, so get on with it. <laughs> well, that would be great if you got, you know, if you got to like... A, um... A certain part, like, in the flashback. In part two. And all of a sudden, you start hearing like... You know... Barrett's voice and stuff, that'd be great. The, uh, the whole end's booked up by Hyunwoo for the night. Cloud? Is it you, Cloud? Must have been two years. <clears throat> Say, you've really moved up in the world, being under Sephiroth's command. Hmm. Is Hyunwoo here to get rid of the monsters? And who are you? I'm Zangan. I travel around the world teaching Shuri martial arts. I have 128 students all over the world. In this town, a girl named Tifa is my student. 
you say Tifa? Tifa has a good sense. She'll be a powerful fighter. <laughs> hmm? You from Shinra? That's right. Jeez. Big headed young kid. Oh, dang. Who are you? I'm the town's. Aren't you Cloud? Don't you know me? You're Tifa's. Right. I'm Tifa's father. Tifa's father. I want you to stay away from my daughter. This mansion. I'll come here later. All right. Yeah, in in this in these games, I I really love how they don't really exactly tell you like point for point like where to go. You know, they let you wander around a bit, and that's cool. What are you looking at? The scenery. I feel like I know this place. We have an early start tomorrow. You should get some sleep soon. I've hired a guy to the Mako reactor. I've heard she's young. I hope we can rely on her. Once the guy gets here, we're heading out. Listen to me, Sephiroth. In case something happens, trust me. I'll be alright, Dad. <clears throat> I have two men from Zolgir with me. I'm Tifa. Nice to meet you. Tifa? You're the guide? That's right. I just happen to be the number one guide in this town. It's too dangerous. I can't involve you in something like this. Then there's no problem if you're a protector. Let's go. <laughs> um... Mr. Sephiroth, please let me take one picture for a memento. Tifa, can you ask him for me too? Keys. <laughs> Great, thank you. I'll give each of you a copy once I get it developed. Mega reactor was built in Mount Nibel. The cold air of the mountains of Nibel. It was no different. Um, I'm gonna stop it here. I'll just cut the flashback in two. Um, if you enjoyed, click that like button, subscribe for more Final Fantasy VII, and I will see you next time. <laughs>